welcome to vlogtober day 23 i didn't know which way it was going to uh, show on the camera so i'm like i don't know so anywho um starting off you guys the items that i'm going to be using is just some regular hair ties i'm um, not the rubber bands but just some regular old hair ties i got my even um edge control and my edge brush just in case i need it for any style so you guys, I'm trying a different candle out today. I'm doing Calming Waves. This is my first wooden wick candle. When I tell you it smelled so delightful, just fresh out of the, just fresh taking the top off, it smelled great. Um, and it smelled even better once I started burning it. So you guys, so this is the first hairstyle. So with these hairstyles, I'm not tying the tie um, more than once. These are very nice loose hairstyle so for this hairstyle i got about three locks then i put them in a tie and then just to secure them in place i got like a lock from like the roll over and i added that lock in to um the band just so that the locks would actually stay in place on the side so this is the first look you guys i cannot believe that i didn't even realize that that piece of hair was hanging until i started to edit absolutely crazy and i was looking in the mirror but you know it's always something so this next style i'm basically just doing the same thing that i did um on the other side on this side as well kind of like a more mature pigtail type look i guess you could call it so again i just took the band and not doing it tight not looping it over the thing i love about these hairstyles is that they're very easy to do they're very beginner friendly and they don't have any type of tension on the hair and they're just super cute to me so this is the second style real quick you guys i wanted to show you guys how i put the shells on my hair so like when i got these shells i didn't know how to put them on i had watched a tutorial on youtube and the girl like put a rubber band through the back part and then she basically like looped the two little loops together and made like a little rubber band like a little barrette type thing and so when i did it like that i was able to just slide um the shell onto my lock and because my locks are already dark you can't even see the rubber band even when i did it on the lighter color locks you still can't see it so it's a super easy trick um if you just don't want to put the shells on the conventional way and i really really liked it so uh, moving right on along you guys so the next style this is the third style this is just going to be a nice um loose updo I really like this style. I do this style um, quite often um, just because it's quick and it's cute. And just when I want something a little bit different, when I'm just tired of seeing my hair like in that same uh, one little style, I'm like, okay, well, let me just put it up in something different. So with this, I might have used maybe like eight locks. Altogether, you guys, I have about 20, between 24 and 26 locks in my hair. I use that same braiding tutorial from um, my video that I did when um, I transform my knotless braids into locks so um another style that i like to do which is going to be the fourth style is just a nice look to go from like the high ponytail to like a nice like evening type look this would be nice with like a dress you could dress it up you can go out to a bar you can go out to dinner you can go out to a play and i feel like this is a nice um natural classy look i really do like this style i'm um, just flipping it over just really change the whole look of it so for this style, this is the fifth style. This style is a style that I wouldn't normally wear, but I wanted to try it out because I've seen other people um, try this style out and I wanted to see how it would actually look with um, the jumbo locks. So again, I'm maybe getting about four or five locks and I'm pretty much moving the band almost down to the base of the locks. And although I'm twisting it, I'm not looping it completely through. Um, none of these styles, um, needed to have a, a second loop they're all very loose um no tension um styles so i'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and i thought it was cute i'm like it depends on how your outfit is whether or not it would be it would you would really be able to pull it off you know all styles are not for everybody but i wanted to try something out different um something that i had never tried before um i didn't hate it i didn't hate it 
So, yeah, so that's this style, you guys. So, um, the last style, I'm actually going to use a scarf. This is the scarf that you guys have seen me with my little puff. Just a regular scarf. It doesn't have to be oversized or anything like that. So, if you guys saw Poetic Justice, you know, like, the road that I'm going. Um, the road that I'm going down. So, I just brought it around the back, and then I just tied it in the front, just one tie. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the hair back to just to kind of get the get the locks in an order that I like them in before I actually tie the last tie. So once I bunch them up the way that I want to bunch them up, I'm just going to go ahead and flip them back over. And then I'm going to tie um, a knot in the back. So I'm going to double tie it in the back just to make sure that it's nice and secured in, in place um this is a really cute um carefree style i really like this style i wear this style as well i wear this with um short with short locks and longer locks so this is just me just maneuvering it and i'm like oh these edges i don't know for this style i want to do something a little fancy so real quick you guys i'm using the ebon edge control the 24 hour hold when i tell you guys i have 4c hair not 4b possibly this is 4c hair and when I tell y'all it slicked my hair down so well, it doesn't take any time for it to slick down. I don't have to use a lot. It stays in place. It dries well without me even having to, I, I don't even have to tie it down and it'll still dry in place. And to be able to maintain, um, edge control on 4c hair this is some good edge control in my opinion this is the edge control that i use over my whole head so in a minute you guys are going to see um me after i did um both sides with the edge control and just how nice and sleek it looks and how it really just makes this style look even better look at that y'all it looked tight i promise you it's not even tight you guys so yeah you guys so these are all of my styles thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys tomorrow Girl.